Hey, John here. Let's create a new project and look at what happens when we try to create uh, schematics with multiple sheets. So how does this work? So KeyKit supports multiple sheets in a hierarchical arrangement, okay? Which means that, you know, you have a parent sheet and child sheets and stuff like that. What we're looking at right now is this part of the title block. Sheet slash means this is the root sheet, okay? Let's look up here. See these two guys up there? This one right there? This is the sheet navigator. I have only one sheet and it is the root. So the navigator shows just that one sheet. Let's say we have a situation where we want to, uh, either we have too many parts to fit on a sheet, even if we made a huge one, and or we want to um, copy stuff in from other projects. So let me show you how to do this. This guy over here on the right, this is the hierarchical sheet symbol. Uh, you draw them on there like this. So I just left click up in the left corner and then click in the lower right. It says, hey, what do you want to call the file for this sheet? Let's call this power. And I'm going to call the sheet power as well. Now I don't put an SCH here. I can. If I don't do it, it will add it, as you'll see in a minute. Let escape here and zoom in. And we see the sheet. Symbol name is power and the backing files power SCH. If we don't mag maximize this. Okay. So once we've done this, let me hit control S to save it and watch over here. Oops. Save. Okay. You see another sheet pop up. Okay. So this gets added to my project as I go. That's where it ends up going in the same directory as all the other stuff in the project. All right. So here's the navigator now. I got a root sheet and a power sheet. I haven't put anything on them yet. I'm just looking at how the sheets kind of fit together. So remember, the root looks like this with a slash there. If I double click this, I navigate into the new sheet I just created. And it's called power. Over here, it's sheet number two. If we go back to the parent, parent is sheet number one, okay? That's really how you create sheets. And you can go on at infinitum. You can go in here. I could put another sheet in here if I wanted to. And I'll just take the defaults for the sake of illustration here. And then I can open up the navigator. Now it, it, Root has a child called Power. It's a child called this new sheet here, right? Here's the go back up to the parent. So now I'm in the Root, right? Uh, if I went way down here into the new child, Power slash, you know, I didn't name it, so it created its own. Go up one, and now I'm back at the power, up one, I'm at the root, okay? No surprises there. You're going to delete one. Just go like this, hit delete, save. Now you'll notice that I removed it from my uh, project, so to speak, but the file is still sitting over here. If you really want to get rid of this one as well, you have to go over here and hit delete, okay? So, so far we have a nice two-sheet design. Let me show you how to do something that I think is really neat. I have this new sheet, and rather than drawing a, a power supply in here, I want to reuse one from another project. So I can go over here and go File, Append Schematic Sheet, go to another project over here, my trusty 12-volt power supply, and I just copied that entire sheet over the top of this one. All right? If I did this twice, by the way, it's just going to put both of them right on top of each other. So you don't want to do this haphazardly, like I'm about to do for illustrative. Now, you'll notice I moved the first one up and out of the way. Habit. Uh, the other items down here, there's going to be two, okay, on top of each other because I put two in the same place. I'm going to control Z a few times and undo this mess. Oops. <laughs> There's that other child sheet that I deleted. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Save. And, uh, okay, so I copied it in. You can see the sheet's the wrong size. It does not copy in the title block or any of the other stuff when you do the append. So you have to come in here and do that yourself. Okay, now it fits. You'll notice when I copied it in, the sheet that I copied in includes a little text item over here from, you know, clicking this guy over here. Um, this is the name of the sheet and project that this uh, schematic came from. I do that. I drew that into the sheet myself because I designed this on purpose to be shared. Okay. So that's just my own way of keeping track where things come from. All right. I find that kind of handy. 
All right, so I got a 12 volt power supply that I copied in from another project into a child of the root sheet. Great, I don't have to redraw the whole thing. Uh, let's do another one. All right, this one is going to be called, let's make a mic preamp. Mic one, mic one, all right. And we'll put another one down here for mic two. Again, it'll add the SCH if I don't do it. My Oops, I didn't want to put a third one. Let me hit escape. Okay. So now I got a sheet for power supply, a sheet for mic preamp down here, and no shock there. Okay, let's go and append one of those. An old project right here. Open. There's a nice mic preamp. Now, sometimes when I append, you see all these little bubbles in here? I think that, I don't know if that's a bug in Keycan or what. If that happens, just move it and move it back into place. Move one of the parts, and you'll notice that they all went away. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, so what happened when I appended this, right? All the annotations went away. All the part references went away. And that makes sense, right? Because who knows what your current design has in terms of references, especially if I go over here and I append the same sheet twice. That would just be craziness to have the um, to have the annotations or the references come in with them. And you'll see the bubbles again. Like I said, you just move it. I don't know what that's all about. I suspect that's a misfeature of uh, KiCad. So, oops, I got the wrong size sheet again. Not uh, right there. Okay, save. Now, uh, I did this on purpose. These mic preamps are complete except for, you know, they have an output that doesn't nearly go anywhere. What's this for? Well, uh, so we just talked about net names and all that fun stuff, right? And I mentioned global and local net names. Well, now we need to deal with whether the net name can be addressed on a different page or not. So on this page, nothing is named other than the two power rails. And as I mentioned before, power the power uh, uh, um, uh, symbols are always global. So these uh, plus minus 12 and the ground in this sheet is connected to every other sheet. So these grounds and this 12 here are all connected together. If, they, if these didn't get connected to something supplying power, the DRC would come up and say, hey, there's no pin to drive it. We've seen that before, right? So let's do a DRC right now and say run. Oops, I got to annotate my stuff. Uh, okay, so let's look at some annotation uh, that, that helps multi-sheet. See this guy right here? So far, we've been using this up here. Uh, if we say, give me the, the sheet number times 100, and then go from there. I have uh, four sheets in this design right now. The root is number one. Power supply is number two. The mic and the other mic are, are, are pages three and four, or sheets three and four, rather. So if I annotate this... I'm on sheet three, so all these are like 300 series parts, all right? So you can see down here, sheet three. It's also the wrong size. Let me go and make this into letter as well. All right, save. Uh, if we go up thingy, let's look at this guy up here now, right? One root and three children. That seems reasonable. Are all the pages the right size? Did I do them right? Yes, okay, so you can see these are the 400s, all right? Now, because these are literally the exact same schematic, and these parts are physically in the same order, it turns out that our 401 on this sheet is going to be our 301 on this sheet. So they're going to end up in a nice uh, groupings of repeated values, if that's of interest to you, uh, which I think is kind of nifty. Save. Um, so now what? How do I deal with this? Um, I've got local net names or no net name right here. This is just text, right? I just clicked this thing and typed in something, blah, 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 blah. That's the blue ones, right? We've seen that before. Delete, delete. Okay, save. Now, if I name this net something, it'll be a local name. It'll have a slash in front of it. Uh, we saw that in the previous vid video, but if I put this thing on here, I say, look, I want to get put a net name on here, but I want to make it global. All right. Now you can make it look like an input or an output. This is, I think, just visual. It doesn't mean anything to KeyCAD, but do it right. Don't be a slob. So let's call this one uh, Mike 
uh, out one. Okay. And it's backwards, so let me rotate it around. Okay, this should be mic one, right? Let me double check down here. Yeah, mic one. Now I have a global output pin or symbol on this net. This net, I could give it aliases. I could put more names on here. I could also put out one here as well as in here. But the fact that this exists on this sheet makes that net name global. That's all there is to it, okay? So if I go to the other one and put an out two on here, and rotate it, delete this. All right, and I go up to the parent. Now let me show you something before it goes anywhere. We have a mic out one and a mic out two on these sheets. Let's do a DRC. If you put a, uh, my point is if you put a global label on here and you do this, it's going to say, hey, you've got an, uh, a, a, a global symbol that doesn't go anywhere. All right. Now I got a, some sort of a conflict between pins as well. What's that all about? Something I must have broken. D201 is connected to. Uh, what the heck happened there? Where is this? So when you click on these, by the way, it'll zoom to the uh, sheet that it's messed up with. Now, this is interesting that we've got uh, arrows pointing all over the place here. This might actually have something to do with the fact that I brought the same thing in twice. You know, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just delete everything. Oops, I don't want to shut my power, my power off. I'm going to delete everything on this page, including the title box stuff down here. Save, and I'm going to redo the append. So let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> Don't demonstrate how to screw up a schematic. <laughs> Hit save, go in here, delete markers, uh, close. i got to re-annotate this thing. I'm going to say reset everything, start over, and go with hundreds by sheet name, or number rather. Okay, save. Now let's do a DRC. All right, now we're back to what I expected to see. Uh, Mike out one is not going anywhere. Mike out two doesn't go anywhere. All right, so this is what happens if you put a global uh, net name, global label on something, and it doesn't appear on any other sheet. So let's go ahead and put the other side in here. Now on this time, I'm going to call it an input because from this sheet's perspective, Mic out one is an input, not an output. All right, fine. And let's put a mic out two right next to it. All right, let's give it somewhere to go. Uh, let's throw down a trusty, just a connector with four pins. A generic one by four. I'm gonna do this on purpose. I'll move these. Uh, well, in theory, you could put it right there, but you generally always want to have a wire in there. And the reason you want a wire is because if you move it later on, you want to have something that can be stretched if you use the G command like this. Now, you don't, you, this is annoying, don't do that, but more often than not, you might want to extend it by doing this. That's why you always want to have a wire in there. Probably mentioned that before, at least I hope so. If I do it now, I should have two unconnected pins, but I should not have the global label problem. Delete, run. Oops, I forgot to annotate this. I can do it manually. This would be like 101, right? I'm on sheet one, so that's what it would have been anyway. So perfect, not connected, and there's no symbol. That's for these pins one and four. Let's go ahead and connect them. Let's go ahead and, oops grab the power sheet and go like this and hit control C to copy go up here and hit control V to paste so this is how you copy between sheets move this down here move this up there and put a wire on there wire on there save 
Reset the markers, rerun, no problems, everybody's happy, save. So basically I just designed a two-channel mic preamp with a header output. Presumably I'd want a nicer connector over there or something. And all I did is brought in the parts from other projects. Uh, so what else about multi-sheets, right? Well, I just showed you how to copy between pages. Now I copied this in a second time, remember, so those little bubbles are still there. Let's get rid of them like that. While we're in here, let's go in here and control C, go to the parent, control V, put my little, you can share this, have fun, little license thingy on there. So these are all happy and together. Now let's edit the uh, title block. Now you see these export to other sheets. We've never had to do this before. Let's say, all right, today is the day I designed it. It's revision one. If you click this, all sheets get the same value at the same time. Can't seem to type today. And then I use my, my GitHub Earl goes here. All right, in my usual way, and hit save. All right, so now if we look at all the sheets, you can see, whoa, I failed to click it on every one of those, didn't I? Um, well, the date was clicked. <laughs> that was foolishness. All right, let's, so, well, okay, great. Let's say you do this. Go back to this sheet here. You just go back and re-click these things, okay? Now that should have taken care of it. Yeah, all right, save. Uh, what else can we do here? Um, when I created those original schematics and copied all the parts in, I gave them all footprints and stuff like that. Save. I guess I forgot to annotate something. That's fine. Open up the PC board. Grab the net list. Take the defaults at the first one. What's going on? Uh, J101. That's the header that I added on the first page. Uh, because I forgot to put a footprint on it. That's okay. I'll get over it. Save. Uh, Alt-3. So this is pretty nifty. You know, you've got basically all this done already. And all I did is reuse. This is one of the mic preamps, one of the mic preamps, and there's the power supply. You can see when it imported the netlist to the PC board, it clumped all these together by sheet. That's nice, right? So you can actually get a long way now. Once you build up a few, you know, sub blocks of schematics that you want to reuse in your various designs, you can really move quickly now with this thing. So, all right, so that's how you use these global uh, labels and some other bits and pieces about multi-sheets. It turns out these labels can also be used for net um, buses, right? It's just a net name. So if I put the square brackets in here, the whole uh, bus would go through that label. And all the same rules apply to that that I did in my video about net names and buses and stuff like that. So really this is all there is to what, what they call a flat project. We're not taking advantage of the hierarchy in any way. This is just a, you know, a four sheet design that has globally shared pins between the sheets, okay? That's all, you know, that's all we really did here. There's much more interesting things you can do with hierarchical designs. We'll talk that, about that in another video. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Any ideas? Any, you know, did I do anything wrong? <laughs> what could have been done better? Let me know in the comments. Thanks. Bye.